How's it going everybody? This is Alex McGregor and today's video is all about the Insta360 3X and we're out here at Arapahoe Basin. Early season conditions but I figured we could test out what the best looking option for taking this camera with you skiing. So we're going to test out mounting it to the helmet, mounting it to the chest, mounting it to the chest with a little extender and first things first is the selfie stick. Oh, and if you're used to me talking about cameras in like stars and animals and Olympus and stuff, don't worry, that content's coming back, but this video is all about fun. over here, let's see if I can ski muggles with a camera in my hand. Ah, oh, it's so rocky. It's too rocky, I'm out of here. Okay, how long have you been working here? Uh, about two years now. Uh, where's your favorite lift? My favorite lift, I would say Palavinci's. That's the right answer. <laughs> yes, sir. Next up is the helmet cam. Let's see how this looks for a run. And we'll go back to the park too. good on that video all right <laughs> How's the wind on this mic? Probably awful. Let's go! All right, here we go again. Back in the park or on the chest mount, no extender. Should I try the 270? I should try. I should get the 270 off. Let's we'll see how this is. It feels better than the head mount as far as the weight. The head mount was kind of top heavy. <laughs> 270 off.
I think this ended up being my least favorite, the chest with the extender, just cause I don't know if I can cinch down these screws that tighten the unit enough to prevent it from uh, changing angle too much and getting loose and falling down. I think for the chest system, I like it without the extender best. Thoughts on the other ones real quick. I like the helmet mount, but it is a little bit heavy. Like you can feel it on your head with the extender. Maybe I'll try this last lap. Oh, I still have to go to the park, but then I'll try a lap on the helmet without the extender and see how it looks. Cause it was a little bit heavy and just, I don't know, it was annoying on my neck. I like the versatility of using the selfie stick. You can get a lot of different angles. You can get close or wide. You can throw it behind you. But when you're doing more serious skiing, unfortunately, it is really nice to have the two poles rolling. So I think the selfie stick might be for those fun days or cruising the park or just doing like groomer laps with your friends. I don't know if it's what you want when the skiing gets a little more serious. For serious skiing, it's gonna be between the chest, no extender and the helmet mount. All right, time to go back to the park on the chest mount with the extender. Let's do it. And straight, oh yeah, the most boring a rail can be. I chose nothing. Chose a zero error at the end of that. That was fantastic. Okay, this is helmet mount, no extender. I'm rooting for this one because it won't be as heavy. Helmet mount, no extender, trying to 270 off. I might just fall. Okay, 180 off. That's like a 270. Oh man. So that is it for this video. If you've made it this far, please give me the thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos, most of them won't be about skiing. They'll be about cameras, photography, uh, astrophotography, wildlife photography, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, if you wanna see more content like that, hit subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Well, that'll look good on that video. All right.